Hey, what's up guys? Got a little treat for you today. This is from icstation.com in the People's Republic of One Hung Lo. And as you can see from the bag, it says sensor. And this was shipped out on the 17th of March and it arrived today the 31st of March so we're talking 14 days that's pretty good now in uh, the spirit of full disclosure icstation.com has provided this to me free of charge for review so let's take a look and see what we got going on here Yeah. Well, I don't know how well you can see that, but there is a picture of what we got there. I already know, since um, they let me choose what I wanted to review first. This is uh, pretty nicely packed. No complaints there. <laughs> Other than trying to get it open. like my son trying to open a Christmas present here. His birthday was the other day. He just turned 13. I have a teenager. Holy shit, how did that happen? Wasn't I just a teenager like two weeks ago? <laughs> that was a lot longer than two weeks ago. I have been out of high school for 30 years this year. Okay, so what we've got here is a DHT22 sensor, which is a close relative of the DHT11. It's slightly larger and supposedly more accurate so we have absolutely no documentation provided and we have four pins so I guess we go to the old interwebs and do some looking up as usual the interwebs provides so there is our DHT22 sensor with its four pins. The first pin being VCC, the second pin being data, the third pin being a third testicle, and the fourth pin being ground. Now I remember reading that we need to use a 10K pull up resistor on this. And I believe it's between VCC and data. Let's take a look. Uh, the interwebs provides. There you go. You want to place a 10K resistor between VCC and the data pin to act as a medium strength pull up on the data line. Thank you, Lady Ada. All right, let's wire this into a board. All right, let's wire this bad boy up here. You can see we've got her plugged in. Got our VCC data not connected and ground. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in a 10K pull-up resistor. See that? A brown, and black, black, red. Have you been practicing your resistor color codes? Don't worry, they're damn near impossible to read on these blue one hung low resistors. Come on. Not quite. 
Let's try it again, yeah? Get in the hole. There we go. So now we have our pull up. Next, we'll add our VCC, which in this case is going to be 5 volts. And finally, our ground. Oh, not finally our ground, our ground, and then <clears throat> finally our data. Because without our data pin, we're not going to get any information now, are we? In this case, I'm just going to plug it into digital 8. So, uh, there she blows. Now let's go make a little sketch and give it a shot. Okie dokie. Let's get this little um, DHT testing sketch set up and ready to rock. This is from Adafruit. God, I had to get a dollar every time I say Adafruit. Okay, anyway, we plugged our DHT into pin 8. And we're using the 22, so that's already selected. We have pin 1 connected to 5 volts. We have pin 2 connected to D8. Pin 4 connected to ground. And we have a 10K resistor between ground and data. So that's really all we should need to do. Our board is an UNO. And it is on COM5. Let's ship it. All right, we are uploading and done. And let's check the serial port. Oh, failure to read from the DHT sensor. Well... That sucks. Let's go have a look at it. Okay, quick fix. I just had the uh, power plus 5 volts plugged into ground instead of plus 5 volts. All right, let's open her up and see what we got. Hey, she's a working. Looking good. Now, it's like I said, supposedly this is more accurate than the DHT 11. I'm just going to check here. with my digital multimeter I am reading 51 percent relative humidity 69.4 degrees temperature so it is close and again we just powered this up so it may need a little bit of time to stabilize but it definitely works. It arrived in good shape, well packed, and very quickly. So let's go take a look at where you can order one. Okay, here is the icstation.com webpage. And up here you can see the link, which I'll put in the description. 
icstation.com slash dht22 am2302 hyphen digi hyphen temperature hyphen humidity hyphen sensor hyphen p hyphen 1469.html. So this is item number 1469 from IC Station. Price in US dollars, four dollars eighty cents with free shipping. And you can see some information about it down here. Type AM2302, accuracy resolution point one, humidity range, temperature range, four pin package, ultra low power, blah, blah, blah. And they have a little document you can download to go with it. So that's it. I hope you like this short little review video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.